right, you want to lose uh, 30 pounds in 90 days. Yeah, I bet. Who doesn't? You uh, want to do it, and you want it to be extremely easy. Of course. I can do this. I can make this happen. I can even show you, but uh, the reality is you know you, and I have a feeling I know you too. But anyway, welcome to Walk Talk Vent. Let's do this. Hi, guys. If you remember yesterday, we checked out Chronically Stephanie, and she was a couple of weeks before her weight loss surgery. She was discussing her why. You know, her why was her kids and why she wanted to do the surgery so she could have more energy to enjoy her children and hopefully have some longevity behind her as well. Today, we're going to fast forward to about three weeks post-op, and let me be silent here, and we'll listen to what she has to say. Check it. Hi everyone, it's Stephanie. I haven't posted in a while, um, and it's partially because I've been recovering from my surgery. I had my gastric bypass, Ruin Y surgery, on September 9th, 2013. Uh, today is September 21st. So I have been um, working on getting used to this new lifestyle um, and healing and recovering. And it seems like every time I think about making a video, I'm just uh, too pooped. So I apologize for the delay. And here's my video. Um, today I just wanted to talk about a little bit about what I'm eating um, close to three weeks post-op. I'm still on my pureed food uh, diet. And I, I'm doing okay on it. I find that. I'm getting a little sick of adding protein powder to everything I eat, but I'm definitely getting my protein in because I am adding it to everything. Um, I'm definitely getting my water in also. Um, the only thing that I don't feel like I'm doing is getting enough calories maybe. Um, I'm going to have to talk to my dietitian about that and see um, what she says um, as far as what my goal should be for calorie intake. Um, some of the stuff I've been eating is, uh, I've been eating a lot of things that are Italian based. Um, white beans with some pesto uh, blended in my um, magic bullet is amazing. I also add some protein powder to that. Um, I also do a ricotta bake that I got the recipe from Eggface or the world according to eggface.com. Um, which is a great site about um, res it has recipes and what it's like to live um, with uh, gastric bypass. Um, let's see what else I'm eating a lot of. Wendy's chili is pretty good blended up. Although, you know, I'm eating all this pureed foods and I just really, really can't wait to chew. <laughs> um, I'm also eating tuna salad, chicken salad egg salad, um, pretty much, uh, that's, that's about it. I'm drinking my protein shakes every morning and, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, the only thing I can say is at the end of the night, I get really nauseous and I'm going to talk to my surgeon on Monday about that because it seems that every night just after 7 I get really, really nauseous and I have a hard time doing much of anything. Okay, I wanted you guys to see that. So the one thing she's noticing, right, she's doing okay. She's really, really tired, but she was tired before her surgery, right? So the thing that uh, she said right there, she's really, really nauseous before she goes to bed that's going to play a big role in the future when we start to see what she's deal what she's dealing with you know in a more recent time period because keep in mind these videos are about 10 years ago so uh, right there just remember she's going to bed and the one thing she's noticing is she's feeling nauseated in other words she feels like she's going to throw up so uh today is my one month surge anniversary i am um, I'm going to be honest, I don't feel great um, since having surgery. I am uh, tired all the time. And uh, today, food is, it just feels like a job. Um, deciding what to eat, when to eat, and uh, what to eat. And um, this journey so far has been hard. I didn't expect it to be easy, but 
it's taking its toll on me. Um, one of the things that is also getting to me is that I haven't lost a whole lot of weight. I have lost a total of 14, 15 pounds since surgery in one month. Um, it's hard not to compare uh, all the other success stories um, on YouTube and online. It's just frustrating. Um, so that, coupled with not having much energy, um, it's just been, it's hard. Um, I wish that, I wish that I had, uh, happier news. Um, I know this will pass. I hope this will pass. I know this will pass. Um, it's just hard. And, um... You know, I don't regret having the surgery. Um, you know, I'm still happy that I'm 14 pounds, 15 pounds lighter than I was. Um, I guess I just had expectations. And uh, I know expectations lead to disappointments. So that's where I'm at today. Um, some of the stuff I'm eating, um, I'm on soft foods. So I eat a lot of cottage cheese and yogurt. Uh, Wendy's chili has been a big one for me. Um, fish. Um, but to be honest, food doesn't really interest me. Um, and I still do my protein shakes. Um, I don't know. It's just been uh, a long month, so I look forward to it being a little bit better as time goes on. Uh, let's see, um, I guess that's it. Um, I will post again next week and see you then. I hope I have Okay, so as you can see, she's starting to have a couple of issues post-op. Nothing major at this point, but in the video before that I was watching that I didn't share, she explained that she was starting to get nausea at the end of the day. And Okay, maybe the music is a bit too much, but I got epidemic sound and I wanted to bust it out. What do you guys think? It sounds kind of cool in the background, right? Listen, my name's Jesse. One of the few things that I do well in life is walk. I wish I could tell you more, but the reality is walking might be one of the best gifts that I've been given and I wanna share it with you. So every day my vow is I'm here, I'm gonna walk and I would love for you to join me I'm gonna uh, talk about ways that I think you can lose weight quickly. And right now I'm overweight. So if some of you guys are looking to lose weight, take this 90 day challenge with me. We're gonna lose 30 pounds together. We can do this. I can do this. Let's do this. By the way, before I forget, go to Chronically Stephanie's YouTube channel and by all means subscribe to her and on any video that you watch of her, give her a thumbs up. So that way if she ever comes back to check out her YouTube channel, she'll be happy to find out that she's got more subscribers than ever before and people do enjoy her videos. She wanted people to know about the journey that she went on. By golly, let's go back in time and let's go through that journey with her. Holy moly, is that like a 1950s Hearst right on? <laughs> what?
so I just got off work and I've decided to take a walk home which is interesting because I work from home so to take a walk home simply means that when you get off work you take a walk around the block before you enter your home take a walk to your house so today I'd like to talk about Russell Wilson former quarterback of the Seahawks and the Broncos who I just read today was picked up by the Pittsburgh Steelers but don't worry if you're not into sports I'm not going to talk too much about football so to speak but you know with Russell Wilson you know I'm sure at one point he thought he'd be a Seahawk forever he goes to Denver and he probably thought he would be just as good as he always was right but there was definitely a little drop off there and now he's kind of going into the twilight of his career with Pittsburgh. And the reason that I mention him is because people like me and people like you at home might be going through some of those very same changes, not on the football field, mind you, but in your career or in your job. You might be contemplating making a change or you might have just made a change and you're slowly but surely finding out that the grass isn't always greener, or you might be finding out that your last job treated you horribly and now you're in a place where they treat you the way you should be treated. I think regardless on whether you like your job or not and regardless on whether they treat you decently or not, I think you should still try to treat yourself well. Because if you feel like you're stressed out at work and then on top of that you come home and you're on and you're hard on yourself uh, it can really lead to a miserable life so if you're listening to me at home and you are constantly beating yourself up why don't you grab your walking shoes put them on get on out the door you can still listen to me on your phone or your headsets and why don't you get out and walk with me I walk every single day and even if I'm ill, I usually end up making up for it by doing what I like to call extra credit. If you already walked in the morning and you find yourself walking in the evening, you're doing extra credit. All you need to do is remind yourself that, hey, every time I walk for half an hour, I'm killing about 150 to 200 calories. And if you can get addicted to walking every day and every night, your body will constantly be in a fat burning or calorie burning mode. And in case this is your first time listening to me, right now yours truly is a little bit over 180 pounds. And uh, for the first time in a long time, I'm so pudgy that uh, I honestly can't fit in about half of my pairs of shorts and I can't fit into almost all of my chinos. Chinos for you at home, you might call them khakis or whatever, but either way, my semi-dress pants, I can't fit into them. Right now it's... Um, Right now it's about 10 minutes to five Arizona time. And even though uh, I haven't been walking this late recently, I already knew when I came out that there wouldn't really be too many people outside walking with me. That's why I love walking so much. You know, if every time you walked there was a million people outside, you wouldn't really be able to enjoy it that much, I don't think. But then again, maybe you are such a social butterfly that you enjoy walking through big crowds of people. I myself really enjoy the idea of being the only one out here constantly. I love it. So back to what I was saying about Russell Wilson. If you're in a new place of business, I think you should make yourself some new goals with your new job. Part of the reason you left your old job was because you were tired 
of A, B, and C. Well, now you're at a new job. Now maybe you can take advantage of, you know, getting home a little bit earlier in the day. Maybe you're uh, working a little bit closer to your house. That would be nice, right? And maybe you have a shift that starts a little bit later in the day and maybe it ends a little bit earlier in the day, whatever the case might be, maybe you can actually avoid rush hour with this job. That is definitely a plus. Rush hour is such a bummer. However, if you are stuck in rush hour, turn on the music, listen to some tunes, take your time. Remember, rushing in rush hour is what leads to fender benders, so try to stay calm. Do your nose breathing. Look at it as your time to kind of zone out. You can take a mental walk even when you're in your car during rush hour in a traffic jam, right? Besides, as you get older, I think you have to learn how to kind of be a friend to yourself and come up with game plans. I'm always thinking game plans every time I'm on a walk. And I think you should contemplate a game plan too. How can we get your financial life back in the right direction? How can we get your physical life going back in the right direction, you know? How can we get your relationships with people moving in the right direction, you know? I don't know if you guys have been watching these UFO and UAP trials and things that they're doing with Congress and all these different characters like Matt Grush and different people like that, Russ Coltart or whatever. Anyway, it's interesting because they always make the aliens sound like they're really us from the future and it's like if that's what we morph into as time goes by then oh my god. No wonder we're trying to travel back in time to mate with Earth's women. Could you imagine, as somebody living in 2024, could you imagine if you took a time machine and traveled back, let's say, to the year 1000, just to meet up with the women there and try to get their jeans, get their jeans off? Do you think they were wearing jeans back in 1000, 1300 years ago? get their jeans and, you know, their jeans, DNA, and also their pants. <laughs> had a unique situation today at work where, once again, I had a person take an interview for a job and the school loved them and they loved the school and then all of a sudden they started talking to another recruiter. Recruiter offered them a couple more dollars per hour and all of a sudden the cute school that they were ready to take a job in all of a sudden it's full of mold and dust and dirt and all of a sudden the job doesn't quite pay enough you know it's funny how things can go from perfect to not so perfect kind of reminded me when couples split up you can see a young couple or even a an older couple and they could be happy as as happy can be and then all of a sudden uh, good-looking guy comes in the picture and all of a sudden the woman's acting like she doesn't want to be married anymore or all of a sudden a really good-looking girl comes into the picture and all of a sudden the guy doesn't answer his cell phone anymore I think we've all gone through it and we've all seen it a million times you know I think the grass constantly looks greener whether it be a football team with Russell Wilson's situation whether it be a job like we were talking about earlier but a lot of times where the grass looks really greener is when it comes to a new partner. I notice that a lot of us, when we go from one partner to an, another, a lot of times we don't break up with somebody and then find someone new like we should do. A lot of times we cheat on somebody so that we never are single, right? We kind of cheat and monkey branch to somebody else. And usually, Whoever gets broken up on, uh, they end up being miserable for a while after it. Makes you wonder if getting in a relationship with somebody is even worth it. 
if you're going through a tough relationship and you don't mind letting us know, maybe in the comments you can talk about a previous relationship in which you were in where maybe things didn't go so great. Maybe you can even share a funny story. If you can, I promise I'll give you a thumbs up. And speaking of thumbs up, if you could give a thumbs up and subscribe, I love walking every single day and I'm here to walk with you. Sometimes I'm in a happy mood, sometimes I'm very uplifting, and other times I'm a little sassy. I like to tell people the truth every now and then, because we can't handle the truth too much, if you know what I mean. Anyway, the neighborhood I'm in is really interesting, because I've been a part of this neighborhood for a big portion of my life, both as a kid and an adult. But what's interesting is, as time and the decades and the years go by, I should say as the years and then the decades go by, pretty soon the uh, neighborhood changes. The people move out, new people and new families move in. And before you know it, you're kind of the oddball in the neighborhood because even though you haven't changed, the whole neighborhood has. So just as everybody in the neighborhood is new to me, because they're all new, I'm new to them. So, kind of interesting. One of the reasons that I wanted to start this YouTube channel was because the mother of my daughter, now mind you, my daughter is a 29-year-old mother herself now, but the mother of my daughter, come to find out, went through weight loss surgery, you know, about six, seven, eight months ago. I'm not exactly sure when, but you know, it's about a half a year ago. And apparently, in addition to the weight loss, they also prescribed Wagovi for her. And so naturally, I started diving into YouTube videos about weight loss surgery and about Wagovi. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people that go through successful surgeries. And there's a lot of people that have absolutely nothing but positive, good things to say about Ozempic and Wagovi and all these different drugs for losing weight. But... I started seeing some horror stories. And in these horror stories, they would describe how acid reflux was coming up their esophagus while they were sleeping, or even sometimes while they were just there sitting. And that uh, those acids that would come up would literally start to eat away their teeth. And some of these women and men had perfect teeth, but no longer did. And they were starting to regret that they were taking part in this surgery. And what's interesting is the Wagovi and the Ozempic had some very similar side effects to the weight loss surgery. And I couldn't help but think, this sounds like a nightmare. I mean, seriously, guys, think about this. You want to lose weight, and you ultimately want to lose weight for your health, sure. But you'd be lying if you said that that was the only reason. I mean, there's a little vanity there, right? You want to look your best, ideally, or at least better. But I mean, at what cost? If you end up losing your teeth, I mean, my God, your smile is such a big part of you, you know? And then some of these people were losing control of their bowels. I mean, God, how embarrassing if you're going number two all over yourself. I mean, the whole idea is just a horrible situation to have to go through. But could you imagine your teeth are bad? You know, you've, you've got, you lose control of your bowels. You have uh, bouts of extreme constipation, 
followed by bouts of, of incredible diarrhea. I mean, it's just, what a nightmare. And that can't be healthy. Anything that tells you that you're full after just eating a bite or two, that can't be good. Come to find out, you can't drink alcohol. Did you know that becoming an alcoholic is actually a potential side effect of the surgery? And I'm being honest when I say that because something with your stomach being like a smaller stomach, it equates to the alcohol going straight through to your intestine. And when that happens, an ounce or two of alcohol could, could literally get you drunk. And alcohol, ideally, should be a slower situation where you slowly get intoxicated. Not so much after the surgery. And this is a, a big thing. You can YouTube it. People are becoming alcoholics. Note to self, in the afternoon there definitely is more cars out and about. Noisy cars. Kind of a funny story. The other day, yesterday I should say, I, I'm doing film editing and video editing, I should say, for this channel. And I was like, God, I didn't realize how ugly I was. Felt like when I was younger, I was better looking, but uh, yeah, my face is pretty jacked. I apologize, but the reality is you're not here for my face. You're here for my wisdom? Oh God, that sounds just as goofy. You're here to lose weight. You need someone to walk with you. Walking a lot of times is done in silence, but if you have somebody to walk with you, well, it's a good thing, and that's who I am, and that's what I'm here for. Planes. I see a ton of airplanes and helicopters when I'm out. I see more airplanes than people usually. What's interesting about the airplanes that I've noticed, and you might notice this too if you're out on a walk, look at them because you'll see them at different angles while you're walking. When you see an airplane from the side and it's up at a certain elevation, and especially if the plane itself is darker, you know, like a gray or a or maybe even a black color, which some of them appear to be. Or maybe it's just the, sh the shadow or whatever, but they look just like discs from the side. So I could see how a lot of them could be mistaken for UFOs. You know, it's funny. We've really become UFO crazy in this country, but just as long as people are UFO crazy, it seems at the same time, there's a lot of people that could care less or couldn't care less. If you're out there telling people I could care less, that's wrong. You should be saying I couldn't care less. <laughs> Just like your weight, 94% of people couldn't care less about your weight problem. 
That's why you got to get your shoes on and walk off the calories, walk off that stress. You don't need those people in your life. As a matter of fact, if you want to lose some extra weight, get rid of some of those people in your life, if you know what I mean. It was a little windy today, so I wasn't able to talk too, too much. But maybe we'll make some good B-roll out of this. Yeah! B-roll!